What's Gucci everybody? It's AJ again and today I want to talk about the void type. Now in my last tutorials I or my probably really early tutorials parts 1 through 10 I talk about the void type and I talk about the void type is usually means no used for no parameters or it has no return type. Well, there also is another way to use the main the main keyword and that is to declare a pointer. Now, let me show you guys an example here. If I do void, I do number equals 5, and then let me try to just run this program, I will get an error. And it will say variable or field number declared void, which is not allowed. Void is not a type that can be used for standard vari for regular variables but it can be used for pointers now let's say I make this an int and I say void pointer um, and we'll just call it pointer equals the address of number and that is actually perfectly legal that will compile and if I compile this We'll get the red, will go away, disappear magically, and it's great. And we get a little warning that says, unused variable pointer. But if I try to print this out, if I print it out, and remember I have to dereference it because it's a pointer still, so I use the multiplication symbol I like to call it, or the star. Um, this will still not run when I, this will still give me an error when I run it because I am dereferencing the type and um, I'm printing out an integer but the void type since pointers are strongly typed it's looking at this type and saying hey is this an integer because percent %d is, pr is printing out an integer um, more specifically a signed integer so positive and negative numbers and basically that so it looks at that void integer and says that void pointer and says hmm well pointers can only point to things of the same type of regular variables of the same type so I need to find a pointer and so it's not looking at an integer and not printing out that integer so if I run this I will get an error and it will say blah 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 error exists in your project invalid use of void expression as you see one thing I could do if I did want to print out a pointer I could cast this to an integer pointer and the way I could do that is I could take pointer and I could put parentheses and then put int pointer and then around it put another pair of parentheses and around this I will dereference it so what happens is the inner before order of operations the innermost parentheses get calculated first so first I will take this in I will take this in pointer of uh, this type in pointer and cast it to the pointer so it will go from a void to an in pointer so now my pointer my printf statement knows I have, I'm using an integer pointer for at least this operation. This doesn't change this void pointer to an integer pointer, but it changes it for this operation or acts like it's an integer pointer for this operation. And then once all that's done, on the outside of the parentheses, I put a dereference symbol. And if I run this, I should get a 5. Let me drag this over. And see, there you go. I get 5. And that's really important. And that's what's kind of cool about void or not cool is that it doesn't it's really it really kind of means there's nothing there it, you're not supposed to know the type um i i really wanted to show you guys this example because the example function that i've shown you guys is malloc as you can see here it returns a void type this and it says this function returns a pointer to a newly allo allocated size bytes long or a null pointer if the block could not be all allocated so um, one thing you cannot do with a void pointer is you can't do size of void because it's really not a type and size of void is not defined so you can't do that you can only do size of integer or size of struct or size of union or size of anything you can't do size of void so that's important to remember so you really can't you can't malloc void pointers but you can't assign it to a void pointer because um, malloc does return a void pointer and so I can just do I'll just name it food because I'm hungry all the time and boom that will that will compile and everything and I have I've malloc I have I've assigned a I've dynamically allocated space of size int sorry about that to um, and it's and the um, pointer food is pointing to that now I can't increment void or decrement void because 
it's Java is not, I mean, C, not Java, is strongly typed and it will look at when it's trying to increment, it will look at the type void and it will say, hmm, what should I increment? I should increment my pointer by the type. And void really isn't a can't be really classified as a type. It is a keyword, but not a type. And so it won't know what to do. In fact, let's see what happens if I do try to increment it. And actually, I didn't really get any errors. But what happens is your the food the food pointer is undefined and you don't know exactly what's going to happen to it. For instance, if I print out food, I make I'm going to get this value. I'm going to get the location of where it is in hexadecimal, which is five C six A one one. And basically, let's see. Let me print that out with it incremented now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we'll see how much it incremented by to see what happens when you increment a void pointer. And I forgot to put a line around it. <laughs> I forgot to put a new line character, so it printed out badly. That's what I'm showing, guys. And let's see, it incremented by one single byte. So that's what it may do by default. So maybe, so size of int so size is defined i guess it's just in, it's literally incrementing by one and that is the default of what it prefers to actually i'm not absolutely sure and i'm probably not qualified to make a video on this but my guess is that you don't want to be doing this anyway but my guess is that you can google if you want to primary answer is that it defaults to just going up one byte since it, it's not strongly typed and it doesn't know what to go up by so it may default to one byte or void may be defined as one byte. If I make this size one of size of void, I guess yes, size of void is is defined as being four bytes, as being one byte. So you can just go like that, boom. You can just go size. So you can do size of void, but it's not good to do, and you almost never see it in programming. But I do want I do want you to know you can use a void pointer to, for for example, make things generic. So if you want to have a structure and you want to have a pointer to maybe a char or a a char or a string or an integer or a structure, you can make the pointer vo a void pointer, and that will allow you to print anything out. So I could use malloc to declare this to a struct or a um, anything else and I won't have to worry about that and that way I can dynamically create it or at runtime I can change whatever I'm allocating memory for depending on what my user is choosing which is really cool and that's the beauty of a void pointer I will up I will upload some examples on github which and a link to that will be in the description below and I hope you guys have a great day